You were saying like how small is too small? Yeah, how small is too small. So, you know, you got a, you got a mini hoe. How big is too big? You know, let's just talk about the spectrum of machines, you know, specifically excavators that can get some benefit out of a positioning system and it not be overkill. You and I go back uh, quite, a, quite a long ways. In a previous yeah. life, we worked on a, on a long stick excavator that yeah. uh, was doing dredge work down in the Port of Houston. And I think it was like 90 foot of stick and boom. Yeah, it was like 100 foot, 50 foot stick, 50 foot boom. Yeah. It was digging kind of, in 50 foot of, of water. Standard Topcon excavator system there. So we can run our system underwater yep. for that kind of application. Huge applications for, for pond, digging ponds. Um, or digging, mines, uh, you know. Yeah, and you were telling me about uh, excavating out streets, which I think yeah. that's, that's a huge, huge thing that I don't hear about a whole lot. Yeah. Um, but now we're starting to see more guys uh, uh, doing gray beams for concrete. Uh, digging out utilities, underground utilities, that kind of thing. So how big, how big is too big? How small is too small? All the sensors and everything that go on the machine are all the same, whether it's a, a, a massive machine or a small one. So MC Mobile uh, excavator system on like a Cat 300 series, and I've seen them on small, you know, landscaping, Sannies, and like and uh, and you know it, things that you would not think somebody would invest the time in. Yeah, you know they're seeing returns on it so quickly. That, that they're, they're investing in. It depends in. on how much grade you're cutting. You might not see much benefit of extending a sidewalk on a driveway, but let's say laying out something new to some specific design standard that's like on a plan design or something like that. When you're laying out and positioning a new design, this is where the layout systems will come into play and actually help you receive a, you know, a lot more efficiency. Oftentimes, my guys own the machine. They're on it two or three times yeah. a week, if not every day. Um, they've got a grade checker that works with them all the time. Who's out on the ground. Who's he's, he's usually using a laser to go check grade, you know? So he's having to run his machine with door open all summer long in the yeah. heat. Um, so what we're able to do then is go look at his project and say, okay, like what, what kind of stuff are you giving before you get out there? Right. Do you have a CAD? Are you giving, are you giving a, a PDF and all the kind of stuff that they could turn over to somebody like y'all? You could turn them over a turnkey model that they could just throw in a machine and go cut grade. Right. Yeah.